हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ प्राजक्ता ढगे आई एम फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी के टी एच एम कॉलेज नाशिक टूडे आई एल बी टेकिंग अ लेक्चर फॉर एम एस सी पार्ट टू सेमेस्टर थ्री सब्जेक्ट इज इंसेक्ट फिजियोलॉजी चैप्टर इज एटीन चैप्टर एंड इट इंक्लूड्स माइक्रोजोमल एंड एक्स्ट्रा माइक्रोजोमल एंजाइम्स इंसेक्टिसाइड डिग्रेडेशन एंड डिटॉक्सीफिकेशन लेट्स बिगिन विद द चैप्टर सो Insects are faced with numerous toxins as they go through life. Some produced naturally by plants, uh, and some produced by humans. To survive the natural toxins, insects have evolved various detoxification mechanisms. These same mechanisms also sometimes allow insects to overcome insecticides. and the level and type of mechanisms differ greatly this results in differing toxicity among the different stages populations and species of insects knowledge of detoxification allows us to better incorporate chemical resistance mechanisms in crop and to better select the insecticides that will be effective when applied so normally a lipophilic xenobiotic that enters an animal's body is rapidly detoxified detoxification can be divided into two phases first is phase 1 which is also referred to as primary phase and second is phase 2 uh, which is referred to as secondary process the phase 1 reaction consists of uh, oxidation hydrolysis and reduction the phase 1 metabolites are sometimes polar enough to be excreted but usually are further converted by phase 2 reactions in phase 2 reactions the polar products are conjugated with variety of endogenous compounds such as sugars sulfates phosphates amino acids or glutathione and subsequently excreted phase 1 reactions usually are responsible for decreasing biological activity of toxicant and therefore the enzymes involved are rate limiting with respect to toxicity let's see in the today's lecture we are only going to focus on phase 1 reactions let's see the phase 1 reaction first is oxidation oxidation is considered the most important among the phase 1 reactions The oxidative reactions are carried out by a group of enzymes called as microsomal cytochrome P450 monooxygenases. These are also known as mixed function oxidases or MFO. So, uh these enzymes located in the endoplasmic reticulum of eukaryotic cells commonly are found in mammals birds reptiles fish crustaceans molluscs insects bacteria yeast and higher plants microsomal monooxygenases are three component system comprised of cytochrome p450 nadph cytochrome p450 reductase and phospholipid which is phosphatidyl choline the details of catalytic events mediated by cytochrome p450 are not fully understood the substrate first binds to oxidize cytochrome p450 the enzyme substrate complex undergoes reduction and then interacts with oxygen finally the hydroxylated substrate and a molecule of water are released electrons from nadph are transferred by nadph cytochrome p450 reductase and provide reducing equivalence to the ferric cytochrome p450 substrate complex the overall reaction is given over here if you can, uh, if you see it here it's given where rh is the substrate okay in this reaction what rh is mentioned here is a substrate now In some cases the second electron may originate from NADH via cytochrome B5 
and cytochrome b5 is involved in fatty acid desaturation and in certain microsomal monoxygenase activities including methoxycurmine o demethylation ethoxycurmine o dethylation benzopyrin hydroxylation and cypermethrin hydroxylation in house flies the exact role of phosphatidylcholine in microsomal oxidation is not known the phospholipid is essential for electron transfer from nadph to cytochrome p450 but it does not function as an electron carrier it appears to be involved in coupling of NADPH cytochrome P450 reductase and cytochrome P450 and in the binding of the substrate to the cytochrome it is well established that insect cytochrome P450 the terminal oxidase of the monoxygenase system exist in multiple forms as found in mammals as many as six forms were isolated from the house fly musca domestica four forms from the flesh fly and the black blow fly three forms from the pomace fly and two forms from the black swallowtail the multiplicity of cytochrome p450 would explain why the microsomal monoxygenase system possesses a broad substrate specificity capable of oxidizing various functional groups of lipophilic organic molecules each form is coded for by its own gene to date several hundred cytochrome p450 genes have been identified so these are some of the genes which are present in some of the uh, uh, say insects okay p cytochrome p450 genes these you can read it out over here so uh, um, among the reactions performed by the microsomal monoxygenase system epoxidation hydroxylation and dealkylation o dealkylation desulfuration and sulfoxidation are most important with respect to pesticide metabolism now first one is epoxidation let's talk about epoxidation epoxidation is an important microsomal reaction for example the cyclodene insecticide aldrin can be oxidized to its epoxide d aldrin which is more environmentally persistent than its precursor epoxides are usually highly unstable and can undergo rapid enzymatic hydration to dihydrox to dihydrodiols catalyzed by epoxide hydroxylase these highly reactive epoxides can form adducts with cellular macromolecules such as proteins rna and dna often resulting in chemical carcinogenesis next one is hydroxylation hydroxylation can occur with an aliphatic or aromatic carbon atom ddt and the carbamate insecticides carbaryl are known to be hydroxylated by microsomal monoxygenase microsomal hydroxylation usually results in detoxification next one is n dealkylation N dealkylation is common reaction in the metabolism of xenobiotic including organophosphorus and carbamate insecticides. The reaction is believed to proceed by an unstable alpha hydroxy intermediate which spontaneously releases an aldehyde in case of primary alkyl group. Next one is O dealkylation. O dealkylation of alkyl group of the ester or ether structures of insecticides occurs frequently but also involves an unstable alpha hydroxy intermediate as found in n alkylation okay the next one is desulfuration organophosphorus insecticides with phosphorus and sulfur uh, bonded double bonded group 
are desulfurated by microsomal monoxygenases of insects to their corresponding phosphorus uh, double bond to O analogs. This reaction results in activation uh, because the product binds more tightly to the acetylcholine esterase and thus more potent acetylcholine esterase inhibitors. It proves to be a potent inhibitor of acetylcholine esterase. Next one is self oxidation. Many thioether containing insecticides such as organophosphorus compounds and carbamates are oxidized by microsomal monoxygenases of insects to their corresponding sulfoxides. In general, sulfoxide formation represents an oxidative oxidation process leading to an increase in acetylcholine esterase activity. Now, the next one is reduction. Although insects contain reductases catalyzing the reduction of xenobiotics, reduction is less common than oxidation. Three types of reduction reactions that is nitro reduction, azo reduction and aldehyde or ketone reduction are known to occur in insects. An NADPH dependent nitro reductase has been reported in soluble fraction or say cytosol of adult female of houseflies which reduces parathion to amino parathion. The reductase activity is not affected by presence of oxygen. Nitrobenzene reductase activity has been detected in the fat body, gut and malpigian tubules of Madagascar cockroach. Anaerobic conditions are essential for the activity. The enzymes in the microsomes are strongly NADH dependent. Whereas those in the soluble fraction are strongly NADPH dependent. Activity is enhanced by the addition of FAD, FMN or riboflavin. It appears that the two substrate for nitro reductase if is FMN and that the reduction of nitro compound occurs non-enzymatically. Similar results are obtained using azofuxin as a substrate. Aldehyde reductase which catalyze the reduction of aldehydes and ketones are widely distributed in animal species including insects. These enzymes catalyze as in the as in the or say aldehyde reductases are cytosolic enzymes requiring NADPH as cofactor. They reduce naturally occurring compounds such as benzaldehyde and such as benzaldehyde as well as synthetic chemicals. The next one is hydrolysis. Insecticides such as organophosphates, carbamates, pyrethroids and some juvenoids which contain ester linkages are susceptible to hydrolysis. Esterases are hydrolysis, hydrolysis that split ester compounds by the addition of water to yield an acid and alcohol. Esterases which metabolize or which metabolize organophosphates can be divided into three groups. A esterases are not inhibited by organophosphates but hydrolyze them. B esterases are susceptible to organophosphate inhibition and C esterases which are uninhibited by organophosphates but do not degrade them. There are two types of esterases that are important in metabolizing insecticides which are carboxy carboxyl esterases and phosphatases okay carboxyl esterases which are beet esterases play significant role in degrading organophosphates carbamates pyrethroids and some juvenoids in insects carboxyl esterase is responsible for the selective toxicity of malathion which favors mammals over insects Carboxyl esterase hydrolyzing um, transpermethrin has been found in numerous insect species including the fall armyworm, velvet bean caterpillar, tobacco budworm, corn earworm and spined soldier bug. Phosphatases are A esterases which detoxify many organophosphorus insecticides especially 
phosphate phosphates in insects in house flies peroxone can be hydrolyzed to diethyl phosphoric acid as in accompanying reaction phosphatase is also hydrolyzed the alkyl groups of organophosphate several amide containing organophosphorus insecticides such as dimethoate and asphate have been shown to be hydrolyzed by carboxyl amides to their corresponding carboxylic acid derivatives now epoxide rings of alkene and arene compounds are hydrated to form trans diols the enzymes which catalyze the addition of molecule of water to an epoxide ring to in diols are known as epoxide hydrolysis epoxide hydrolase activity has been detected in numerous species of insects enzymatic epoxide hydration of certain cyclodyne insecticides and their analogs has been demonstrated in house fly blow fly yellow mealworm madagascar cockroach southern army worm and red flower beetle epoxide hydrolase is important also in metabolism of juvenile hormone which contains the 10 11 epoxy ring in several insect species including the southern army worm house fly blo- black blow fly and flesh fly among the phase 1 reactions oxidation mediated by microsomal monoxygenases is the most important in insect the resistance to insecticide caused by enhanced microsomal monoxygenase activities has been reported in numerous insects so this was all about the phase 1 reaction and we are done for the le- this lecture thank you so much